So today I have a little review for you on the Harbor Freight drill press. Now this is the smallest one that they offer as far as I'm aware. It's a uh, five speed eight inch drill press I think is, is what it is. Yeah, and it's from Central Machinery. And I don't know a whole lot about the manufacturing process so I'm not really gonna cover any of that. What I will cover is my experience with this drill press so far. So, one of the big questions I'm sure a lot of people have is, is it powerful enough to get the job done? And I've had this for, I don't know, maybe a couple months now. And in my opinion, this thing is just fine. Now, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Maybe it'll burn out before too long and I'll feel like it was just a waste of money, but it was pretty cheap. Uh, I think I paid 69 for it. But at this point, I've drilled out. I mean, I use, I use this press mostly for steel, but I do use it for, for uh, my carta and wood as well. And all these knives here, and I've got quite a bunch of them, I drilled all these out and I didn't have any problems. And I've also drilled out this here. So this is just like a dozen or something knives, but this is a fraction of what I've drilled out so far with it. I've probably drilled out about, I wanna say 120 knives with it. So this thing does just fine. I'm not asking a whole lot of it though, because I run it on the slowest speed most of the time. I run it quite slow. I, I run it fairly gently because the thing that's the most likely to burn out is the drill bits more than the, the press so far. And I used to drill out all my knives with a Dewalt uh, hand uh, uh, drill. But this thing, in my opinion, if you're making stuff and, and you are in a position of where you can go between a drill press or a hand drill. In my opinion, the drill press does work a lot easier. Your holes are gonna be a lot straighter and it takes a lot of the danger factor out. I used to drill all my knives with a hand drill and oh my gosh, there was times I'd, I'd catch knives wrong and they'd start spinning and I'm pretty lucky I didn't get any cuts at the time. And I would build apparatuses so that I could drill in those with that with that drill and it just uh yeah i think the drill press was a good choice for my health and for my use <clears throat> but i feel that if you're going to get the the harbor freight drill press the best way to get the most out of it is don't don't run it too fast let it run at a slow pace if you're dealing with wood that's different but as you're taking it down through things you need to to be willing to to take it down but and then to let it up and not just press 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 i don't use any kind of special cutting oil just because i kind of cheap so i use three in one for my drill press oil if you're unfamiliar with this if something like if you're you know a lot of people that are going to buy this might be first time drill press buyers and they might not be familiar with a lot of stuff you want to use an oil of some kind to help that drill stay cool and also to help it cut cleanly as it goes through whatever you're drilling on, except for you wouldn't use cutting oil on wood, as far as I'm aware. Maybe somebody out there has a different opinion, but I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to use any kind of oil when cutting through wood with a drill. So I just put a couple drops of three in one on the drill when I start, a couple drops on the piece of steel, and then I just go down through it and I release as I start to see smoke or I start hearing whistling and then I let it cool off for a second. The spinning of the drill does cool it off some and it's a little bit wet, so it doesn't take it very long to cool off, but I've drilled all the way through quarter inch thick pieces of steel with this thing. I, I don't drill through hardened steel because drilling through hardened steel is really hard on bits. So I drill through annealed steel, it's very soft so that I can make whatever kind of holes I want. So here's a small knife, the thin knives, it goes right through them fairly easily the sharpness of the drill bit makes a big difference but with my experience with this drill it hasn't left me 
with any regrets in the purchase. As a matter of fact, I'm very happy I made the purchase because I'm a lot more safe now with drilling. Yes, it is kind of a short range of motion. You only have, you know, I think two inches that the press itself can move. So you're not gonna be putting a, anything like the handle of a knife in there and going all the way through the handle in one motion. You're gonna have to, you know, drill through it and then pull the handle out, flip it over and drill from the other end. It's not a big deal to me. Matter of fact, it's a little bit easier than the old method I used to use. So if I was to say, should you get this? If you don't have anything else and you really don't wanna break the bank, has not left me disappointed. That's just my opinion. It has worked, held up pretty well so far. I've been working with it for about two or three months now and I really am happy with the purchase. Haven't had any major issues, haven't had anything break on it. The only the only thing that that is frustrating about it, but in my opinion is kind of a kind of a positive thing at the same time, is there has been one or two moments where there wasn't enough power because either the angle of the hole got off from the drill, so the drill caught and it stopped. It's not the worst thing in the world. I mean, if the bit would have broken into pieces and a shard would have hit me in the eye, I would have been pretty angry, justifiably. If, you know, anything else were to go wrong with the mach Having machines that are not too powerful, while they don't work as fast and they don't just rip through things, you may not get injured as quickly with those things. I'm not gonna say that you're always safer, but generally you're gonna be a little bit a little bit better off. But yep, in my opinion, it's definitely worth the money.